I'm going to show you guys two typical word problems that we have to use the system of equations to solve. And this one is about motion, meaning we have to use the formula rate times time is equal to distance. And this is the first one. Let's take a look. It says it takes two hours for a small plane to travel 390 miles with the wing. And when we go against the wing, the plane can only travel 330 miles in the same amount of time. We are going to find the speed of the plane and we also have to find the speed of the wing. So as we can see, we have two things that we don't know, right? The first thing is we don't know what's the speed of the plane. And the second thing is that we don't know the speed of the wing. So this is a big hint that we should use the system of equations. And right here, as you can see, it talks about time, the two hours, and also the distance, the 390 miles, right? So we have to use the formula, and this is something that you have to remember. We have to set it up first. Rate times time will give you the distance. And let's put it down like this. And let me show you. This is how you should organize all the information. As we can see, because we have two unknowns, right? We better have two situations so we can come up with two equations. And we do. The first situation is that when we go with the wing. So let's put down on the side. When we go with the wing. And then the second situation is when we go against, right? So let me put that down right here as well. When we go against the wing. And as you can see, this is pretty much my setup, but we are not done with the setup because we are going to play tic-tac-toe. So draw the tic-tac-toe box like this, okay? And after you have done this, well, let's just fill in the easy boxes. For example, for th this box, this right here represents the time that we need to go with the wing, right? And this right here is the two hours that you mentioned right here in the beginning. So let's just put down two. And the plane can travel 390 miles, and that's the distance when we go with the wing. 390 miles, and let's put this down right here. And the second situation says, when we go against the wing, the plane can only travel 330 miles, right? That means the 330 will go when we go against the wing, the distance right here. And you also mentioned it's the same amount of time. So of course it will be the same as earlier, the two right here. So these boxes right here are easy to fill in because they're just actual numbers that we know already. And now we have to think about how can we figure out the rates. The rate right here, we have to remember, it's pretty much the speed, but we have to take account into the plane and also the wing. So let me ask you, when you go with the wing, are you going to go faster or slower? Faster, right? So originally, if there's no wing, you will just put down P for the speed of the plane, okay? We don't have to use X and Y all the time. If you use P, that will represent the speed of the plane. Right? That's more direct, right? But as we mentioned it just now, well, when we go with the wing, we are going to go faster. So we are going to add the speed of the wing. So what should I put down for the speed of the wing? We don't know, so let's put down W and W stands for the wing, right? So this is pretty much it, how you fill in the first row right here. But be sure, we have to make sure we add the P plus W first. So we have to put down a parentheses. Likewise, when we go against the wing, we are going slower. Originally, is the speed of the airplane, but then it's going to be slower because the wing, right? We are going against with it. So we have to subtract W and be sure we do that first, so we put down parentheses. And there you have it, this is the setup. You get the two equations. When you do this times that, and set that equal to 390, and then for the second row, it's another equation. This times that, you set that equal to 330. And let me just write it down nicely uh, for you guys right here. We are going to be doing P plus W, times 2, this is equal to 390, that's the first equation, and for the second equation, it's the P minus W times 2, give us 330, and 
we just have to work out these system equations, that will be it. Well, as we can see for the first equation, although that we can divide both sides by 2, but from my experience, my students tend to just remember let's distribute the number either in front or behind the parentheses. Because here, right here, we have the parentheses multiplied with a 2, right? So we have to make sure we take the 2 and distribute it backwards. So the first equation is technically 2p plus 2w equals to 390. And we'll do the same for the second equation. Let's take the number, multiply with the things inside of the parentheses. And once again, this is just more consistent. That's why I'm showing you guys this way. Yes, we can divide both sides by 2, but let me just do it right here for everyone. 2 times p is 2p, and then 2 times negative w is minus 2w, and this is equal to 330, okay? And now, as we can see, this is pretty convenient because when we add these two equations, the 2w minus 2w, they will cancel each other out, right? And we will end up 2p plus 2p, that's 4p, and this is equal to 390 plus 330, and that will be what? 720. And we can, of course, divide both sides by 4 so that we can get the p value is equal to, so let me write down p, is equal to 720 divided by 4 is equal to 180. <laughs> so this is the speed of the airplane. And now what? Well, we plug this back into one of these equations and we can solve for w, right? And let me just use the first one. So let me put that down right here for you guys. We know p is equal to 180 now. And I am using the first equation, so I'm going to write down the plus w, which we don't know, and then we still have to have that parentheses, and this is multiplying with 2, and this is equal to 390. And then we just have to get to work for this one. Once again, I'll show you guys to distribute. Distribute is just more consistent this way. People tend to remember this method better. Anyways, 2 times 180 is 360. 2 times w is plus 2w, and this is equal to 390, and then we can, of course, minus 360 on both sides. Cancel, cancel, and we get 2w is equal to 390 minus 360 is just a 30, and we can then divide both sides by 2. At the end, we get the w by itself. w is equal to 30 over 2, that's 15. And now, because this is a situation question, we have to write our answer down with the indication and also with units. The 180 will represent the speed of the airplane, right? So let's write this down right here. We'll write it down, the speed of the plane is 180 miles per hour. And right here, the W is equal to 15. That will represent the speed of the wing is 15 miles per hour and this is how we will present our answer okay and once again this is a very typical word problem that you will be doing when we are in the system of equation section in algebra class right and what i want to show you guys is that this is how you should organize all the information rate times time is equal to distance, and then write down the situations that we have on the side, and fill in all the boxes right here from the question, right? And right here for the rate, that's the things that we don't know, so we have to think about this carefully and use variables to write expression for the rate of these two boxes. And now let's check out the next one. So hopefully you guys all actually try this question first, and now let's go over this together. It takes 2 hours for a boat to travel 28 miles downstream, and this just means that the boat is going down with the water. And the same boat can travel 18 miles upstream in 3 hours. And the question is asking us to find the speed of the boat and the speed of the current. And let me underline this right here for you guys. So the speed of the boat, we don't know, okay? The boat just by its engine or things like that. 
we don't know what it is. And we are also going to find the speed of the current. Speed of the current, it just means that how fast is the water going down. And as we can see, we are talking about the speed, which is the rate. And we also have the time, the distance. So let's put this down right away. Rate, so I'll put an R only for this time, okay? Rate times time is equal to distance, just how we did it earlier. And on the side, let's put down the situations. The first one is the downstream case. So let's put down right here. When we go down with the water, with the current, okay? And the other one is when we go upstream. So let's put it down right here. And we right away draw our tic-tac-toe box like this. And we will fill in the easy boxes first. For example, this one right here. What's the time when we go downstream? Well, it says right here is two hours. So let's put down two right here. And for the distance, when we go downstream is 28 miles downstream. So let's put on 28. The time that we need to go upstream is three hours. So let's put down three right here. And the boat can travel 18 miles upstream, right? So that means the distance will be 18 in the upstream case. And now we have to figure out what should we put down for the rate right here. We have two things to account for, the boat and also the current. So let me ask you guys, when we go down with the water, are we going to go down faster or slower? Well, faster, right? So originally, just think about it, we have the speed of the boat. And let me use capital B to represent the speed of the boat. But the water is helping us. The current is uh, pushing us, right? We are going to add the speeds up together. So for current, I'm just going to put down C. We are going to add B plus C together. And we have to make sure we do this first. So let's put a parentheses. When we go up against the water or against the current, we will go slower, right? So in this case, originally it's B, but then it's slower. So we subtract the current speed, which is C, and put a parentheses. And once again, this is the setup. Okay, when you multiply, set equal. When we multiply, we set equal. That's the setup. And let me write this down right here. First equation, we have B plus C in the parentheses times 2. This is equal to 28. And the second one is B minus C times 3. And that will give us 18. So this is a system of equations that we have to solve. Okay, so earlier I showed you guys we should take the two and distribute into the parentheses, right? And I worked that out for you guys already. And I'm pretty sure somebody would like to see another way to do it. The way I mentioned it earlier in the previous example, but I didn't do it. This time, let me do that for you guys. We see that we have a parentheses multiplied by two is equal to 28, right? So what we can do is we can just divide both sides by two. Because this way, this two and that two will cancel each other out. And this is very nice because 28 over 2 is a whole number, right? And we will end up B plus C only. And this is equal to 28 divided by 2, which is 14. So you can you know, divide both sides by 2 when you have a parentheses multiplied by a number. And you have to be sure there's nothing else. Or if you want to just do it the way that we did earlier, you have to distribute the two into the parentheses, and that's okay as well. And for the second equation, I will also divide both sides by 3, so that this 3 and that 3 will cancel. This way, we get b minus c. This is equal to, and this is also a whole number, 18 over 3, which is 6. So that's very nice. And now this is super nice, because I can just add these two equations up together, and we see that c and minus c, they cancel each other out right away. And we will have b plus b, that's 2b. And this is equal to 14 plus 6, that's 20. And then, of course, divide both sides by 2, right? So that they cancel. And we end up with our speed of the boat, which is 20 over 2, and that's 10. And for the second part, we have to find the speed of the current. So let's plug in 10 into one of these equations. Let's plug in the first one, okay? 
plus C, and then that's in the parentheses, and we still have that 2 earlier, and this was equal to 28. And to solve this equation, you can distribute the 2, but then let me just show you that we can actually divide both sides by 2, just like how we did here. 10 plus C is equal to this over that, which is 14, and then we can minus 10 on both sides, so that we get a C by itself. So that we get the speed of the current, which is 14 minus 10, which is 4. And finally, you can just write this down like this. The speed of the boat is 10 miles per hour, right? So let me indicate this right here is 10 miles per hour. And on the other hand, we also know that the speed of the current is 4 miles per hour. Hour. And this is it right here. Okay, and hopefully this video helps and should definitely practice more of this type of questions and use the strategy that I've been showing you guys throughout these two examples. As long as you're putting the effort, you can do it too.